But first, these days, solid wood desks are something of a luxury. Our desks are more likely to be made of pressed wood, such as chipboard, an inexpensive alternative made from timber byproducts. Timber mill leftovers provide the raw material for chipboard. The process starts with truckloads of sawdust. The next ingredients are wood shavings and wood chips. The chips and shavings are fed into a large mill that works like a giant food processor, chopping them up into little bits. When the milling's done, the particles are less than 0.7 millimetres thick. To take out any excess moisture, the particles are put into giant dryers for 25 minutes, whose combustion chambers are fueled by leftover dust from the chopping mill. From here, they'll send the dried out particles to a screening machine, which will separate them by size. Pieces too big are fed through the mill again. Larger particles go into the rougher core layer of the chipboard. Smaller pieces into the smoother surface layer. Meanwhile, resin, water, wax and chemical hardeners are mixed to create glue. Machines mix that glue with the particles, then push out a long continuous mat. A cold compressor forces the air out of the mat. Then a hot press activates the glue and forces it all together. Next, a saw cuts the continuous mat into large sheets called masterboards. They're still hot from the hot press, so they're put aside to cool for about half an hour. Once the masterboards are cool, they're sanded. Then a stacking machine piles them about 80 sheets high. A saw then cuts them into smaller, more manageable sizes to be sent off for construction. At the furniture factory, the step is to laminate the panels with a decorative covering. First, a spreader covers the board surface with glue. Then another machine sticks on a one and a half meter strip of decorative paper fortified with resin, varnish and other chemicals. This covering comes in many different colors and designs, from solids to imitation granite or wood. A blade cuts the paper between each board. Then a machine stacks the boards to prepare them for cutting. The saw cuts through six to eight boards at a time, depending on their thickness. The next step is to cover the edges of the board. A strip made of PVC plastic is glued, then trimmed for a neat finish. Next, they prepare the pieces for assembly. A multiple head drill makes screw holes in the panels. Meanwhile, the screws, nuts and bolts needed for assembly are bagged. There's a separate bin for each screw, nut, bolt and connector. The machines count out the exact number required for each piece of furniture. Then the hardware is automatically bagged and weighed to make sure nothing's missing. Every so often, a worker assembles a sample to make sure everything fits together properly. If it does, production continues and they can proceed to packaging. They put together the boards for each piece of furniture, add the hardware bag and instruction booklet, then seal everything in plastic film. It may not be a mahogany masterpiece, but it does the job.